Hello YouTube, this is Spencer from Volimoto Customs. Thank you very much for joining today. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the disassembly process of the RADRT, and we're gonna do so in a time-lapse format where most of the video is gonna be sped up to a 12 times speed. But here and there, I'm gonna slow back down to explain a few things in detail. Just a quick disclaimer, you'll see in the first few minutes of the video that the bike has been surrounded by quite a lot of different things on the ground. This might be a little bit distracting, so I'm very sorry about that. But please bear with me because afterwards the bike have moved onto the stand and everything is going to be way more clear to see and the video quality is better. Upon opening the brake fluid reservoir, it's clear that the fluid hasn't been replaced in a while and has accumulated a lot of water.
My suspicions were unfortunately true. Water has been sitting here for sure. You can see the amount of corrosion on the master cylinder as well. This has to be replaced. You might be wondering what's happening here. Since the star nut would not budge, it was best to cut it off in order to save the threads on the cylinder head. I'm very careful not to damage anything else, only cut into the nut itself. When the cut is deep enough, I try to slit the knot using a large screwdriver. So yeah, I can uh, I can tell that the previous uh, attempt wasn't as successful as mine um, but the thread doesn't look too bad um, yeah we'll have to look at that after cleaning it up but at least this uh, this nut is off so I can take the, the headers off and uh, start taking out the engine Looking at the teeth on the outside of the crown wheel, everything seems good. The rear seal probably needs to be replaced, but that will happen anyway after checking the bearings in the rear drive unit. The teeth on the wheel look nice as well, so there's nothing to worry about here. The teeth on the drive shaft also look fine. I don't see any uneven wear or pitting on the surface. The same goes for the outer gear on the crown wheel. Overall very healthy parts with lots of kilometers left in them.
The splines on the gearbox driveshaft look good as well. There isn't any obvious sign of uneven wear and there's still trace of lubricant on them, which is always a good sign. The clutch size seems fine too, but we'll see if the clutch itself needs replacement after this assembly. The guide support boards felt stuck. In order to avoid damaging the threads, I decided to use some heat to expand the fork tensions and make it easier to remove the bolts. before because the, some of the corners are a little bit damaged but I think we can we can salvage them and fix them up yeah. there is some very heavy surface corrosion on the top part of the sanctions so I decided to take a sandpaper and remove most of it in order to make it easier to remove them from the triple tree the grease is dried out and there is a clear indentation in the bearing graces around the center There is some deformation on the steering tube from the steering lock that will need to be fixed. It's not a big problem.
If you're still here, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate the time and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And if you enjoyed it, please down below, leave me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, suggestions, just leave them down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you. Bye.